These things, totally worth every penny. All right, not necessarily this brand. I mean, any brand works. You can go on eBay, look up uh, Folding Bucket. They're amazing, good stuff. Let's get some bait. Oh God, they're everywhere. all have been running right behind the wash but now that I have the net out if you fish you know what's about to happen every one of them is about to go as far out as they can possibly get and I won't be able to get a throw on one of them all right where'd they at good god almighty is that mullet something bigger up here too it may be redfish god there's another one uh, just out of my reach oh there's a pot i could reach if i was down there uh, there's a pot in front of me but they're too far out Oh now. Yeah, I got time for this mess. There's some. I don't think I can get them, but there's some. Oops. They just got ruined in that wave. I might be able to get these ones. Let's try it. I think I hit short. Yep. Came up short on that one. Story of my life. Oh, now they're right smack in front of me where I needed them. And yes, if you're commenting right now about how I need a bigger net, trust me. Oh, trust me. There ain't no need to even mention it. Because I know. But this is what I got. Was that mullets? No. Ooh, there's a big old pot of them right there. Uh-huh. Uh-uh. Oh, yep. I just seen one. I'll tell you what, man. A mullet is a crazy little fish. When I live down in Florida, the mullet act different, man. They're stupid. They'll sit right there and let you throw them, throw a net right on top of them. These mullet, nope, they hide. I swear they know what's going on. Very strange. Our sheep said here in North Carolina too act a lot different than the ones in Florida. The ones in Florida are dumb. Good God. Them things will sit, they'll sit on the pile and you can throw a shrimp and bop them in the head with it 14 times. Man, you try throwing a shrimp around here in North Carolina and you will get pinfished to death in about 35 seconds. And never catch your feet, never catch your sheep's head. All right. Well, I can't seem to get any of these mullet, but check this out. For the sake of video editing. Got him. Got him. Yeah, buddy. That's what we want. All right. So I've shortened my leader. And bluefish are notorious for short strike. Okay, they're biting my mullets in half. They're doing all kinds of stuff like that. So what you do is you tie up a rig like this. Mullet lips go here. And this goes back in the bait. All right, I use 60-pound mono leader. So you rig them up just like this. You got your mullet. All right. It's just like rigging a slide bait. All right, one on the nose, one on the belly. Go ahead, rig your belly hook. 
or side hook or whatever you want to call it. Alright, I'm just going to take him. We're going to go in and bring him down and come out. And then the nose hook just goes right there. Alright, that's what you're looking at. So you got a hook down here. When that bluefish wants to come around and be sneaky and bite the back half of your bait off, got him. Let's check it out. Ah, and there's the mullet. Jeez. God, this thing casts a mile. Oh, oh. Got him. Feels like a blue fish. That feels like a pretty good one. Oh, God, tell me it's a drum. I need bait. Nope, it's a good blue. Yes, sir. Live bait. Look at that guy. We're going to put him out. All right, buddy. Come on. You're going for a ride. That's a live bait right there, guys. So here's what we're going to do. All right. One hook in his nose. Hold on, buddy. One hook in his nose. All right. There. All right. And then the other hook. We'll just go ahead and bring it. I don't know. There, we'll put it down here. Nice and shallow so you don't hurt him, all right? Just like that. There he goes. Get this thing casting and get that blue out there, buddy. Alright. I don't know where that landed, but it was way out there. I'm doing live blues or live baits the same way. Get that weight stuck in there good. Bait fish. Come on, buddy. Just spilled all my stuff. Alright. Alright. Here we Later, Mr. Bluefish. Sometimes you gotta coax him a little bit to go. Get him over this wave here. There he goes. Later, buddy. Catch us something good. And anything will eat that blue. I mean, big cove, big tarpon, shark, big ray will eat him. Any kind of game fish, a king will eat him. I mean, if he's around and he's close enough, if he's right behind that breaker, there's no reason a big king wouldn't grab him. 
go. There we go. Get that clicker off. All right. My other camera just died. Sir. Fun fish. There we go. Actually, he ain't all that tiny. When you're landing these fish, you got to utilize these waves. Again, you're fishing light gear, man. So like this wave right here. See? You're pulling towards me. Alright, then you just kind of hold it. Here comes another little wave. Alright. Then this next big one here. This should get them up pretty good. There we go. And this next big one. You just constantly got to use those waves. And you can't horse them. Again, like I said, when we uh, landed Caleb's fish, this is when you lose fish. This is when you lose them. Here he comes. All right. Let's see if we can get that leader. It's actually a really nice fish. Again. You can't horse these fish. Oh, there he goes. Can't horse them, especially. When you're fishing solo, <laughs> it's not exactly the easiest thing to do solo. I mean, if you're fishing real heavy stuff, you just winch them up. Remember, this is 30 pound. Real light. You just gotta play them. Oh, here comes a good way. Come on. There we go. Do it again. Gotta learn how to play angles on these guys. And he goes again. Coming back in front of me. They're strong. So much fun when 
you get these fish close, back up. This is if you're solo. If you got someone leadering, obviously, just do whatever. But if you back up, it changes the angle on, uh, on that line. And it helps to get him over, over that lip out there. That's, that's where they hang up. So I've got this fish just about whooped. I say that and then he'll break me off right there. I'm telling you, trying to do this solo is a nightmare. Oh, got it. Good God, what a black tip. That's a good one. That's a real good one. Let's get this next little wave here. Help us pull them up just a little more. All right. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh my God, not a black tip. That is a dusky. <laughs> Nope. Yeah. Pretty sure I just got my second dusky or a nice spinner. Um, I'm not sure, but that was awesome. Let's go ahead. This in here. Back that down. Grab our pliers. That hook out. Saw where that was? Right in the corner of the mouth. Look at that pretty fish. Look at that fish. Beautiful. Beautiful. I really have nothing to measure her with, but she's about, I'd say she's probably seven foot. I mean, here. She's big. Get her back out. Ooh. Come here, slimy. Come here, slimy. Later, baby. There she goes. We'll follow her just to make sure. There she goes. Head it out. Later, girl. Yes. All right, y'all. <laughs> I'm whooped. That was fun. That was a lot of fun. Uh, still not sure, Dusky Spinner. They're two, uh, two sharks that I'm not real familiar with. I mean, I know what they are. I know what they look like, but man, when I see one in person, I, I never really know what I'm looking at. But uh, a lot of fun. And uh, all this goes to show you is, it ain't over until you say it's over. And uh, push through, push through, push through. Just never give up, man. Never give up. And like I always say, don't worry about the size fish you're catching. Go to the beach, have fun. Do not believe the hype. Y'all have a good one. Thanks.